Let me ask you a question that may seem odd and the, op- and the answer should be obvious to it, but I, th- I think it deserves to, to take a cursory glance at. And the question is, are rocks alive? See, I heard the question uh, many times over the years, and one would think the answer is, like I said, obvious and easy, but it depends on what culture of people you um, ask. Ask most scientists today, and most would agree that rocks are not alive. Ask many Native American Indians, and the answer would be, yes, definitely they are alive. New Agers would tell you that stones have a very powerful energy and special abilities. And I have been intimately involved myself with rocks for 30 plus years and have had some experiences that were nothing less than bizarre. So how do I weigh in on the question of rocks being alive? Well, certainly they're not alive um, like you and I, um, nor even like plants are. I guess I agree with the New Agers on this one. It's probably the only thing I agree with them on. Rocks do have a form of energy and some are stronger than others. I also believe that if you know how to do it, you can, in a way, record things on the energy of certain rocks. This is how I explain the event of my experience with an Indian image stone, um, which I have a video up about all by itself, and I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can check that out. But um, but, uh, you really need to watch that link um, or that video. Uh, but but anyways, but for now I'll give you a capsule version of those events. When I lived in Oscoda, Michigan, I found only what could be called a large late woodland Native American site. There were over 1,400 shards of pottery, arrowheads, and other relics. One stone looked like a human head in profile, and I set that stone aside and I forgot about it for several months. And by the way, this site was in my backyard, my parents' backyard there in Oscoda, and extended both ways beyond their property. When I remembered that stone, though, that I set aside, I brought it inside and I went through a couple months uh, where the mysteri- where mysterious symbols appeared and disappeared on the stone. It was witnessed by many people. Uh, James Whittle of the Early Sites Research um, Center felt strongly that the stone had been part of a shaman's medicine kit. This stone is one which helped me to realize that stones may have a message recorded in it by some psychic means. However, being able to communicate a message does not suggest that it's alive. I mean, every tape recorder or or DVD recorder or CD recorder would thus, by that definition, also be alive. It did help me, though, uh, to have... um, a, a unique look at stones. It did definitely have some very unusual, yea, enigmatic properties to it. Now, in my work, uh, though I have come across many stones that seem to have the ability to draw me to them, uh, this is by some form of, is this some form of communication, perhaps, that that I don't understand? If so, I would need to admit that stones have a life very discernible, but dissimilar to our own. God's creation is amazing, and it is not beyond possibility that stones uh, form, or that does some forms of life, we don't recognize. After all, God's creative abilities are far beyond anything even the smartest person can comprehend. I am carrying around with me right now uh, a stone that had that strange attraction to it, and you should be seeing that on the images right now that I'm showing you if I time this right. But I was walking, um, I felt compelled to look down, and there was this curiously shaped stone, so I picked it up. As you can see, it has a <clears throat> strange surface that looks like it was ground and gouged, and I have a feeling that it was, <clears throat> that this was, I don't have the feeling, I should say, this was done by ancient man. It could have been, uh, but however, it could have also been caused by glaciers uh, digging uh, during one of the ice ages, gouging against it, um, bringing it down from the north, and uh, you know some gouging and scratching most definitely can occur that way. But this stone uh, is so unusual; it doesn't look like those kind of markings to me, uh, though it could be. But it could also be that man, at one point or another, altered the surface, flattened one of the sides. It has a, uh, it's a dark, hmm maybe a dark, dark gray color with, uh, and it looks like brass highlights on it. 
um, so anyways, it, um, I was attracted to this one, so I picked it up. Now, as you can see, as, as I said, it has a curious surface, um, but uh, it's difficult to explain the feeling I get when holding this or other stones that have attracted me. It is a very, uh, it is a way like um, they convey some sort of energy from themselves to whoever is holding it. But still, how do we answer the question uh, at hand? That being, are rocks a living thing? If so, they would be one of the most abundant life forms in the universe because, as we know, there are many, many, many of them on the moon and there are many, many, many of them on Mars and Venus and all the planets. Well, not all the planets, but many of the planets that we've visited. But what are the prerequisites, do you think, for life um, as we understand it? Well, it must be able to reproduce. Uh, but who's to say that rocks don't? It must have a cellular structure. And it must be able to take in food and to rid itself of waste. Now, there are many others, but they boil down to rocks be not being alive. But that does not mean, once again, that they are not a life form such as we do not understand. My gut feeling is that the <clears throat> that they um, are not alive, but they do that, that, that different stones emanate different types of energy, which people who are sensitive to it may be able to feel, um, like when I feel an attraction to a certain stone. Whether you believe they are a life form or not, um, God sure created majestic beauty in many of them, and they're fun to collect. Just look at geodes. I mean, they're so plain and, and um, on the surface, but you bust them open and there's uh, there can be colorful crystal worlds inside in a, in a little hollow. And each one of those is a magnificent creation of God. Well, I didn't answer the question. And I can answer the question. Um, I can see it either way. That they are a type of, of life form. And also that they are not alive. I, I'd like you to chime in on what you think. So please, take a moment and uh, write your thoughts on the on the subject in the comment section below. I, I'd really love to hear what you have to say on it. Thank you all for stopping by, and have a great day.